In my first video, I talked about the first week of this trimester and how we're starting a new pose. Um, I also talked about how Dan, who's the model, he's kind of in this crouched pose, and when he was modeling, his foot fell asleep, so when he was getting off the model stand, he kind of tripped off of it, and he unfortunately messed up his foot pretty bad. And Matt just got the text from Dan last Thursday that his foot's really, really hurt, so he unfortunately is not going to be able to model for us for uh, the rest of the trimester. Um, I feel really bad for Dan. So I hope he gets better soon. So in the meantime, uh, we've been having Brian model for us. And Brian's another regular model too, and he's really great and really good at his job. And he's also a comedian, which is a plus, because um, he's really funny. Um, but yeah, so but this was all kind of last minute for him, so he wasn't able to commit to all the days for the rest of the four weeks. So um, unfortunately, that's not going to give me enough time to do a figure painting this time. So um, I was talking to Matt what I should do and um, he said what I should do is for the rest of the four weeks I should be working on a transfer drawings which honestly um, I wasn't too thrilled about that because I would well, I'd just rather be painting because that's more fun but um, I was thinking about it more and I think honestly in the long run this is probably going to be a lot better for me. So here are my previous transfer drawings and you can see, I mean they're fine, they're good, but they're not great. Um, and why I think that I really struggle with transfer drawings is because um, if you're painting or drawing there are two types of people. You either have people that see in line or you have people that see in masses. <clears throat> and usually it's not one or the other, it's kind of a blend in between, but usually you do lean towards one or the other. And I definitely see in masses. And so with working with masses, I'm relating masses to other masses and um, seeing how they relate to really push gesture and um, make the drawing or painting really, really accurate to the model or whatever it is that I'm um, looking at. But the weakness to working with masses is that always comes second when you're working in a drawing or painting. Because <clears throat> when you're starting, for example, a transfer drawing, you really do have to start in a linear stage because you're just putting down the basic lines that make up the figure. And that just doesn't um, make so much sense to me. It's um, when you're just working in basic lines, it's hard for me to see what's correct or incorrect and what I need to fix or change or keep. And so it would be a whole lot more fun to be painting the figure, but um, kind of like taking your medicine, I think it'll really help me in the future working on these transfer drawings. So um, last week then we had Brian for four days, so I worked on a transfer drawing of Brian. And so here are my steps for it. So you can see at the beginning in that linear stage, I'm kind of struggling with it to figure it out. But um, I was able to push myself to get to the mass stage faster. So the last two days, I feel like I got a really strong representation of the gesture and proportions. And I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. And I also wanted to um, appreciate that hand, that top hand that's holding something. Um, it's such a crazy hand with how the light was hitting his fingers and the knuckles. And um, I think it's just because it was so crazy those shapes it was um, easy to abstract it so I really like how I got it I feel like I really nailed that hand and also I've been um, but in the past I've really struggled with getting the structure of the head and the portrait and that type of thing and I've been really really focused and pushing myself and working outside of class on that and I feel like um, I feel like the structure of his head is pretty good and I'm pretty happy and the portrait could probably look more like him so I'll work on that for my next ones but overall I'm really happy with the portrait in that um, top hand. And then in the afternoons I've been working on the cast of the foot. Um, I think in my critiques this last week it's been really focused on temperature and for me to understand temperature better um, and expressing temperature in really large planes across the foot. Uh, oh also what I've been really um, being pushed on is when I put down a paint stroke you put one down right next to it and you don't you don't physically blend them but they should optically blend and that's so much harder and I'm not used to doing that because before I painted it before um, the atelier like a lot in college and stuff and it, I, it was a lot of physically blending them but trying to keep the paint strokes better and that's a lot harder because you just have to be way more accurate and competent with um, how you're putting paint down and what you're putting down either that being the value shifts or the temperature shifts. 
And I'm finding that good painting is a lot harder than I thought it was, but it's really fun.